Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. So today uh, I am making an extension board for my house. So I have brought uh, the entire uh, casing and uh, three uh, modular uh, plug points here. I have uh, uh, connected it to the board and I am doing the wiring. Post which I will just connect uh, a 7 meter long wire to complete it. Uh, so in this video what I am planning to show you is how to make a smooth uh, connection across uh, all the switches uh, if I want to connect all the ground terminals all the live and uh, all the neutral so generally what we do is uh, we cut individual wires into small pieces and uh, then uh, connect the common ones here live to live again live to live uh, or similarly from neutral to neutral but uh, what I plan to do is without creating any joints how about uh, making uh, uh, parallel connection across uh, these uh, plug points uh, in a smart way so to do that uh, I've uh, used a screwdriver uh, and a wire stripper what I will uh, do is I will just try to find out the length from the two extreme plugs and uh, after that uh, I will show you uh, how I, I plan to do it so now I have found this is the length uh, in case uh, I have already done uh, successfully uh, done the shorting for the ground terminals but for the rest of the terminals if you see it's not straight Path, we have to jump uh, this way so uh, the length of the wire which is required for the, uh, the earthing or the ground terminal is much shorter for the rest you can just take a little bit of a longer wire little bit when I say little bit instead of stretching it straight away like this I just pour, twist it a little bit like this and now I have the measurement over here I hold it and I I have now successfully uh, cut the wire okay I, uh, I see one wire uh, protruding I will just cut it across okay so my wire is ready right now what I am going to do is I will uh, just strip out uh, the front and the back portion of this wire I will carefully strip it out one side is done and uh, similarly I will do it for the other side too just remember don't uh, strip too much of it because the plan is I will take half of this wire and then move across uh, uh, the shielding which we have so the red color shielding so uh, probably I should say uh, half a centimeter should be fine so half a centimeter I will strip it even for the other side now so that this wire can be moved easily across both ends I will just uh, give a little bit twist to one side uh, and uh, a little bit uh, twist even uh, to the other side so it's all ready now if I measure it from here to here here uh, it uh, looks fine uh, yeah this looks fine now uh, what I am going to do is I will just check what is the uh, center of this wire so I take the wire just uh, fold it into half so here is the center so at the center you just need to uh, using the stripper just need to uh, cut the shielding over there and uh, once the shielding is cut through I will gradually try to pull it apart from both sides so if you see uh, the other end is also getting shorter so okay now the wire looks like this so I first strip out both the extreme ends of the wire 
and uh, then I just uh, uh, strip the shielding at the center and I started to move the shields towards uh, the extreme end and now I will give a twist even over here uh, so that uh, this becomes a bit thinner now I am uh, lucky to have selected uh, a, a plug point uh, a plug which is which has the wires easier to pass through now what I'll do is in the first plug I will just connect it so the first connection uh, is not that challenging I've connected it over here it's done okay and now for the second one just like a needle I will make the wire pass through it I have uh, removed the screws which tighten the wire to the extreme position so that the wire can uh, pass through this and now I have successfully done that probably I can pull this a little bit more over here so we have the copper uh, cable exposed yeah so you can see that the copper cable is visible at both ends that means the stripping is fine so at the other extreme end uh, I'm finding that the wire is probably a little uh, shorter so uh, it's fine if we strip it less for the first time because you still have the chance to correct and uh, strip it again further so I will strip it out further okay so we have more of uh, copper cable exposed over here so the first terminal is connected and tightened the second one uh, since copper is exposed over there I can tighten that too and the third one I just uh, the third one and the first one are the easiest to do because they are the two extreme ends and you need not uh, have to pass through the entire wire through it yes so we have reached the third one and tighten the screws and here we have a perfect connection so the grounding is done similarly whether this is the live or the neutral and we have connected it so this was a small demonstration of how uh, you can uh, connect uh, multiple plugs uh, without uh, individually detaching the wires I uh, hope uh, you have liked this video and uh, you will try it out yourself to make your own uh, extension board Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.